The existing material for electric power transmission is usually a steel core wrapped by aluminum strands. People who worked in this field have known all along that there were shortcomings to the existing solution. Having two metals like steel and aluminum together essentially forms a battery that has corrosion problems. The steel is a particularly heavy material. It's a poor conductor. The initial conclusion we drew was that we need to blend them on a nanoscale to produce a much higher strength material that would really be quite similar to what's used today and superior in several ways. It came to me that I should be focusing on lighter metals. Particularly, I was drawn to the idea of calcium because it's an extraordinarily light metal and it's quite ductile and is one of the best electrical conductors in the whole periodic table. Ames Lab's involvement is a natural follow-on from work done here since the 1980s and continuing up to today on nanoscale metal-metal composites. The metal-metal simply means that the matrix, most of the wire, is one type of metal, in this case aluminum. And there's a second type of metal, calcium in this case, which is distributed all through that in the form of very tiny nanoscale filaments of calcium metal. The investigators at Ames Lab have been making these metal-metal nanocomposites for 30 years, so the process was pretty familiar to us, and it occurred to us all we really need to do is just buy aluminum powder and calcium powder, blend them, and process them into wire. And we have since had the Ames Lab shop building and fabricating a unit that's now completed to produce calcium metal powder just for this project. We've made a variety of these cables now, so we would have something that conducts maybe 14% better, is about 30% lighter, and is about twice as strong as the commonly used material today.